Welcome YouTube channel members. This is Trevor Seven with member video number three. Uh, you're probably starting to notice a little theme here. Yep, I'm using common articles that I carry with me and have already bonded with. This particular wallet used to say Zildjian on it. And I've been carrying that since like 1995, <laughs> like 27 years. I don't know why I showed you the inside. I got like five bucks and a debit card in there. But anyway, back to the old scenario. You're probably kind of getting used to this now. The black and white scenes are usually stuff I cut out. That little move you see there is also a trifold. It stimulates the energy in my hands, stimulates the energy in the room. And then the little fanning thing is sort of just clearing that area. You want a neutral uh, playground, so to speak. Or that's the way I like to shoot for. And uh, this session was a little rough off the start. And I can tell you it wasn't a problem of energy. Because I was all hopped up on carrot juice and magi ormus. <laughs> I could feel the energy inside me just buzzing. I was really looking forward to this session thinking, man, I am going to tear it up. And as you know, it's a game of balance, empathy, mindset, energy. So if you're really ramped up on the energy, sometimes that can be uh, a downfall, which was the case for me getting started here. But it does even out, it takes time, it takes practice. You gotta take the, the fails with the success and try not to let it get to you emotionally. There, I was trying the little ghost tap I guess if I had to verbalize it you know just there's a little arsenal of different techniques but when it's really working it seems effortless and smooth and very rewarding so here we go we got a balance spreading our awareness focusing more on the energy around a little less empathy and we got it but again it felt sort of incomplete you know wasn't a hole in one or anything uh, some moves are more gratifying than others that one kind of left me longing a little bit but we'll set her up here and as you can see we stayed in color so I got a pretty quick recovery on this one pulling that energy up reverting back to my previous method that worked so well spread the energy try to go a little more relaxation Slight little pull there, and I didn't quite get it, but I felt a connection. I know I'm close. Open the energy, pull through. There it was. That kind of felt like, a, you know, it was a little too energetic, too much struggle. Trying to ramp up the charging and the empathy here with the contact with the wall. And uh, set her up and do again. You know, that that's the... The name of the game <laughs> yeah there we go there's a no hands pull for you <laughs> oh that's the beauty of including the uh, edited parts and for you guys it's kind of fun and I don't mind showing you my stupid side I wish I didn't have to look like an idiot doing it I wish it didn't take me so long to get in the right frame of mind I wish I could just look at it and point my finger and voila it's done It'd be way cooler and that's the main reason I usually cut out all this hocus pocus no go that's just a regroup I could feel you know too much stress too much trying I just need to get a little deeper a little detached a little less focused a little more energy and just let it happen oh that one felt good like when you like you sink a three three pointer in basketball, nothing but net, and you get that very rewarding sound. How that makes you kind of feel good on the inside. <laughs> That's kind of the way a really good TK move feels for me too. I get addicted to that. I'm sort of detached, so I'm not so much in the moment, but for some reason that's the beauty of it. The omnipresence, just a little, dipping your toes in the pool of omnipresence so to speak very gratifying and sometimes the, the fails you know <laughs> get you down but it's so rewarding when you when you finally get the connection all right here's a, another no hands pull 
a little heavy on the energy, but I'll take it. And uh, that's going to wrap up the old pull session. So I took a little break, did the old secret 777 breathing, or it's not so secret if you join me at Trevor7.com, and uh, got ready for my push session. And to this day, I'm still not a pusher. I don't know. I'm, I'm better at pulling. I'm, I'm better at attracting than repulsing, I guess. Maybe it has something to do with blood type. I'm also O negative. Negative. That's a universal donor, too, by the way. If you ever need blood, I'm your man. <laughs> All right, so we're setting up for the push. Energy's good. I'm feeling pretty confident. Start the video thinking I'm going to get this on my first move. And uh, boom, we'll be off and running. <laughs> but sometimes the best laid plans fall to the wayside, as with this one. And as far as troubleshooting, you know, empathy, mindset, energy, sometimes it's hard to figure out what exactly is stopping you. For example, on my first push here, uh, I was about 99% sure that thing was going to fall. I had the empathy, I could smell that wallet, my energy's high, must be the room. <laughs> Let's freshen it up, get some neutral uh, air in here. So just a little regroup, a little more work on the inside, a little house cleaning, get back into the zone, get some energy flowing as long as I feel it all the way through, all seven chakras are spinning. I'm not too much in the moment and just kind of relax, spread the awareness, acquire the empathy. Gosh. Felt a little rough, but got her done. And typically after you get that first move under your belt, you can kind of always, you know, return to that feeling or that method and gain a little bit of confidence. I think I might have been rushing it a little bit here, going with the no hands. Thinking, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. That was a good push, and now I'll give you a good no hands push, and I can get off screen. <laughs> I hate looking up my nostrils and uh, all that stuff, what weird stuff I have to do just to get in the groove. But it, like I said, it's usually worth it. At the end of the day, uh, just being able to tap into this ability is still, I still find it remarkable. I do say so myself. All right, here's a good, strong energy pull. Not forcing it, but really just letting all my energy flow. And a little ghost tap at the end. Poosh. <laughs> so, as you can tell, I was not satisfied with that. That rolled around the rim about three times and finally fell in. So, crank up the empathy. A little more charging. Get those five senses involved. Get her set nice and loose, you know, not not too firm. So when I do get a push on it, uh, something happens. And uh, back to the drawing board. Man, I can't tell you how happy I am you guys have joined this. I thought, you know, when I did this membership thing, uh, probably wouldn't get anybody in and be a big waste of time. But I'm finding I really enjoy it because it kind of separates the herd, you know, the people who are truly into this and are willing to donate a little bit financially to get a little more of me, I guess, so to speak, the more private side. Uh, a psychologist once told me I'm a, a Sigma empath. <laughs> I had no idea what she was talking about and I kind of looked into it and I think she's kind of right. I'm almost socially awkward and I'm this is really stepping out of my comfort zone, you know, showing you all these fails and quirky stuff. But like I said, I'm super glad you joined and you wouldn't be here if this sort of stuff didn't interest you. So thank you for that. All right, here we go. Get ready. A three pointer, nothing but net, baby. This one felt really good. Nice and smooth, easy, no emotions at all. And ah, oh. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys so much for joining and for watching. This is Trevor7. Until we meet again, peace out.